what we have here is the Anchir Amazon special top seller. It's like a 350 watt e-bike. Now, I'm not a professional reviewer, so you won't get a whole lot of technical advice from me. Let's get started by just trying to get it out of the truck. I don't have a bike rack. And to be honest, I've never ridden an e-bike in my life. So, let me get it out of the truck. It looks like it's hung up there. Uh, the pedal is hung up on a, a tent strap. <laughs> so, let's get it out of the truck. Then I'll restart. Try to finagle this. Down into that. Make things a little easier and not scrape up the brand new bicycle on the first time I've ever rode it. I turn it upside down on this little beach blanket I just so happen to have in my car. So this rotor here needs to slip in between the brake pads on the caliper. And then all you need to do is kind of snug this up fairly tight, but I don't think it has to be super tight. And then you want to put some tension on that. If it's too tight, loosen this nut up over here a little bit until it's tight enough to where you can squeeze it down. You could probably do this while the bike's right side up, but I just wanted to make sure I was doing it right. I don't want the wheel falling off. So, all right, there it is. I'm not a bicycle expert, but it looks like it's spinning pretty true. Or part a lot of bicycles when I was a kid. In fact, every bicycle. Get it back over here. The kickstand's in the back. Now, I need to kind of straighten this out. I'm just going to eyeball it. God knows I've ridden things that were out of whack in my life. I'm going to tighten this up. I don't have the battery on it. It looks like it's in like the fifth gear at a low setting. I'm just going to kind of ride it around like a normal bicycle for a little bit kind of go through the functions seems fine to me you can flip this switch here that'll automatically kick it into a higher gear it's not bad I'd say uh, if your battery died like I say I don't know much about bicycles but um, you can still get around town on it like this. It's not bad. Of course, I didn't buy it. So I had to pedal it all over the place. So. Brakes work, but I don't know how great. Let me get the battery out and we'll run through that a little bit before I hit the trail. This is the battery. Should be fully charged it has a key where you can see you can lock it here it looks like and then pull the key out and that should prevent it from sliding up so anybody could remove it i don't know who would really want to steal this battery but apparently people do so as far as i can tell 
you just kind of slip this on here and lock it down. And I turn the key and now it won't come off. If I turn the key the other way, it looks like it'll slide right off. So let's just go ahead and we'll lock it on there. Of course that might help it not fall off. If you had an accident, maybe. I don't know. Model. If I push that right now, it does nothing. We have this power button over here. Probably can't see it. It looks like it's fully charged. It's in the mode one. I push the throttle, it does nothing. I'm gonna pedal it a little bit. Still, I don't know if it's doing anything or not. I don't feel it doing anything, so let's go to mode two. Okay, now it's kicking in. And I can give it some throttle. If I put on the brakes, which I think maybe the brakes need to be tightened up. So that's, as soon as you pedal it, it starts assisting. That's pretty cool. So if you just want to cruise around. I didn't notice anything in mode one. Put it back in mode one. I don't think mode one is doing anything. Even when I hit the throttle, mode one doesn't seem to be doing anything to help. Put it in mode two, yeah, starts to go. And if I hit the throttle, it goes faster and I don't have to pedal at all. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I like it like that. So let's go to mode three. Oh, now I, doesn't seem like I have to, let me kick it up a gear. Okay, so now I'm pedaling and I'm in mode three and it's just helping me along. But if I need a little boost, I can hit the throttle. I don't know how fast I'm going. I'd say probably 15 miles an hour. So I think I probably want to go up on this thing. There's a couple clicks. Cruising along in mode three. Put it in mode four, I think. Um, well, this is easy riding. I don't know about the brakes. Not that great. So that is the Virgin Run. Right here. And this camera. It's not the best GoPro. But for my purposes. And then uh, I'm going to mount it on the bike and I'm going to head on down this Katy Trail here. I'm in St. Charles, Missouri at the Family Arena. I'm going to get down the trail a little bit and I'll turn the camera back on and we'll see, you know, kind of how the bike's doing. Mostly I'm riding this mode three and about the, I don't know, I guess it's gear number 20. I'm right here underneath the bridge going from, I guess that's Main Street up to the uh, Maristar Casino. 
I don't know how good this bike is, but this is the way to go. So I clipped the GoPro on my hat and I found a shady spot. This might give us a little better camera footage. And you might be able to kind of see what I'm doing with the uh, the handlebars and the gears and the throttle and things like that, which is basically nothing. It's, it's really hard to see. I might have to adjust that. What mode I'm in. Yeah, I'm going to have to move that probably and swing that up a little. So I had a little bag with me. It's got a camera in it. And uh, we'll see if it interferes anything. I'm going under Highway 370. So I started at 364, the page extension or close to it at the family arena and now I am at 370 clear across town I wouldn't say it's assisting me pedaling I would say I'm giving the motor a slight bit of assistance and then that'll take you about you know 15 20 yards maybe and then you all you got to do is crank it one or two more times and you're off again another 10 or 15 yards. about the only hill I think on the whole way back so I'm gonna look both ways and we are in mode 3 and uh, I'm gonna put in mode 4 and mode 5 and gear number view of it. I'm going to kind of get the camera set up. This bike did a good job for me. A couple of 
issues I had, which were not a big deal. And I'm a total novice on these electric bikes, so. One was, this thing I had to loosen up the bracket and tilt it forward because I could not see in the position it was in and that could have just been, who knows. Maybe they don't always do that. Maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it got moved in shipping. The other thing is I originally put the, I guess I would say I put the handles and bars on backwards. You gotta make sure this bracket's in the front and that would hold some kind of reflector or something I think that's with it that I didn't put on. The little headlight they give you with it, uh, it's really nothing and it doesn't come with a battery. It takes one of them button batteries and the battery's probably more expensive than the whole light. And uh, other than that, it works out perfectly um, for what I wanted to do with it. So all in all, I'm gonna give this bike a uh, thumbs up.